data is often compactly described by some of its statistical properties, such as the mean and the variance. In this video, we'll explain how to compute means of datasets. The mean of a dataset describes the average data point. The mean does not have to be a typical data point, and it also does not need to be part of the dataset itself. For example, if we look at a set of images of digit 8, the average image looks like this. It has properties of all images in the dataset, but it is not part of the dataset itself. We obtain the average 8 as follows. Remember that an image can be represented as a long vector in a high dimensional vector space by stacking all pixels together. After transforming all images into these vectors, we take all image vectors in our dataset, add them together, and divide by the number of images in the dataset. This gives us the average image vector. If we then reshape that vector into an image again, we get the average digit in the dataset. Here's an example with four eights. The mean of the first one is just the image itself, but when we add the second image, we see that the average image now contains properties from both images. When we add the third image, the mean image is all three images on top of each other divided by three. After the fourth image, we can still see characteristics of all four images in the average image. When we add more images to our dataset, the average digit becomes a bit more blurry. And if we take all eights in our dataset, we get this eight as the average image. Generally, if we have a dataset x1 to xn, let's say d consists of data points x1 to xn, we get the mean value or the expected value of this data set as follows. We write, well, the expected value of D is 1 over the number of data points, so this is n, times the sum n equals 1 to capital N of xn. So we sum up all data points in our data set and divide by the number of data points that we have. Let's look at an example. I create a data set consisting of the five numbers that I get when I roll five dice. We got one, two, four, six, and six. So let's write this down. So I'm going to call this D prime is one, two, four, six, and six. And now the expected value or the average of this data set is the sum of all elements in this data set. So this is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 6 divided by the number of elements in our data set. And that is 5. So if we sum these things together and divide by 5, we get 19 over 5 or 3.8. We can clearly see that 3.8 is not part of the data set and cannot even be achieved by rolling a dice. Therefore, it is also worthwhile keeping in mind that although the mean is the average of the data set, it does not have to be a typical instance. In this video, we computed the mean value of data sets as the average data point. The mean value doesn't have to be part of the data set. In the next video, we'll introduce variances to describe the spread of the data around the mean value.